Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Mika Richards and Gary Lenker shower praise on Kobe Maino. Manchester United produced one of their best performances of the season as they pipped Liverpool to a place in the FA Cup semi-finals with a 4-3 victory at Old Trafford yesterday. It was a solid display from the Red Devils as most of their players step up against an informed Liverpool side. Kobe Maino delivered a top shift in the middle of the park, getting the better of the more experienced Reds midfielders. Mika Richards, Gary Linker and Alan Scherer were all blown away by his display, showering praise on him on the latest edition of the Rest is Football podcast. Richards asked, How good was Kobe Maino? Linker replied, he is such a talented young man. Richards continued, Oh my word, he just gets better and better and better. We analyzed him when he first played for Man United, and we talked about how calm he was on the ball. But it's not just that, he runs forward, he's got great feet, his passing range looks good. I think he's still got work to do on the tactical side of things in terms of protecting his back four, a little bit more, but what a performance that was, he was amazing, really. The Red Devils starlet won the midfield battle and was one of the reasons Man United eventually won the game. The teenage sensation made a key pass, two interceptions, completed 31 passes, won 75% ground duels, 100% of his tackles and completed 100% of his dribbles. Maino has been one of the best players in a largely underwhelming Man United squad this term and is expected to be nominated for the PFA Young Player of the Year award. Manager Gareth Southgate could find it difficult to exclude him from his final squad for the tournament in Germany if he keeps performing like this until the end of the campaign. Given the ridiculous fees Premier League clubs spent on midfielders last summer, Man United manager Eric Ten Hag deserves applauds for giving Maino a chance to prove his quality. Maino could be on his way to establishing himself as the best player in his position in the English top flight. Ian Wright reacts to Ahmad Diallo's dramatic FA Cup winner versus Liverpool. Arsenal legend Ian Wright helped the praise on Manchester United winger Ahmad Diallo following his dramatic late winner against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter-final. The Ivorian has barely played for the club this term due to any injury, but he made his mark in the quarter-final on Sunday with a fantastic cameo performance. Diallo came on as an 85th-minute substitute for Rafael Varane. He was lively from the off and eventually made the difference with a last gasp winner in extra time. Alejandro Garnacho led a wonderful counter-attack in the closing seconds before feeding the ball to Diallo, who unleashed a low shot into the bottom right corner. Diallo, who had already received a booking in the 116th minute, got sent off for taking his shirt off in the celebrations. But he won't forget this moment in his lifetime. Following the game, Wright was delighted with Diallo's strike, he said that it was not a clean shot, but was perfect to find the target. He told ITV the following. You could tell Ahmad has got everything out of it. It's not a clean strike, but it's perfect. It's on target. The worst thing you can do is miss the target. Aside from his memorable winner, the youngster completed 100% of his passes with 19 touches and won 100% of his tackles 3 out of 3. Diallo also won 4 ground duels and made 4 ball recoveries. It was a fantastic all-round display from the youngster who has been a fringe player. The 21-year-old will be hoping to replicate the showing after the international break, but he won't be available for the next game against Brantford. Red cards are not competition-specific, and Diallo is therefore suspended for the next league outing against the Bees on the road on March 30. Manchester United legend believes Sunday's FA Cup win over Liverpool could be a turning point for Ten Hag. 
Roy Keane believes Manchester United's FA Cup victory against Liverpool on Sunday could prove to be a turning point for Eric Ten Hag. The Red Devils twice fought back to equalize before Ahmad Diallo scored the winner deep in extra time at Old Trafford. United dominated proceedings in the first half after Scott McTominay put them ahead in the 10th minute, but the Merseyside Giants made a thrilling comeback by scoring twice through Alexis McAllister and Mohamed Salah on the stroke of half-time. Anthony's late goal pushed the match to extra time, where Harvey Elliott restored the Reds' lead in the 105th minute. However, United had the last lap as Marcus Rashford leveled the scores before Diallo fired home the winner in the final minute. The Ivorian footballer took his shirt off in his celebration, thus getting sent off for his second yellow card. But it didn't dampen the jubilant mood inside the theater of dreams. Keane told ITV the following, Man United, I have been critical of them all season, but they have found something from somewhere, a bit of spirit, a bit of momentum, they got a little bit of luck, sloppiness from Liverpool, amazing, a huge turning point for a lot of these players, particularly for the manager, Old Trafford is bouncing, it's been a tough season for everyone, great images, great for the young players to get through a big game, honestly, an amazing finish to the game. Eric Ten Hag's side can end their season on a high by winning the FA Cup. They are set to face Coventry City in the semi-final next month and should prevail against the championship outfit. The winners of the tie will take on Manchester City or Chelsea at Wembley Stadium in May. Both teams would be difficult opponents, but the Red Devils have the quality to win the final. A lot of players will be leaving, but important Man United star will snap transfer exit, claims source. A lot of players will reportedly be leaving Manchester United this summer, but Marcus Rashford won't be one of them. The England international may have been linked with Paris Saint-Germain in recent times, but it seems he is focused on Man United and will be part of the club's long-term project going forwards, even if others might soon be on their way out of Old Trafford. That's according to an unnamed source in The Sun, who is quoted as very much playing down the prospect of Rashford moving to PSG or anywhere else with the 26-year-old, clearly now prioritizing getting back to his best for the Red Devils as soon as possible. It's not been the best season for Rashford at United, with the popular academy graduate not really coming close to hitting the heights of last season, even if he is showing some signs of improvement in recent matches. Discussing Rashford's situation, the club source told The Sun, a lot of players will be leaving Manchester United in the summer, but Marcus won't be among them. He's seen by the new regime as a key part of the future direction the club wants to go in. Marcus has really knuckled down since his problems earlier this year of the field. He impressed Ten Hag and the rest of the coaching staff, and he is determined to end the season by banging in lots of goals and trying to force his way into the England team for the Euros. The report goes on to name other Man United players who might be more likely to leave the club, such as Harry Maguire, who may be of interest to West Ham United once again. Jadon Sancho makes sense as someone who could move on permanently after his loan move to Borussia Dortmund, while the report also names the likes of Donny van de Beek, Rafael Varane, Casimero and Victor Lindelof as the players facing uncertain futures. Eurogiants meet Manchester United to discuss potential forward transfer. Manchester United forward Mason Greenwood reportedly has interest from Atletico Madrid ahead of this summer with some initial talks already taking place over the deal. The Red Devils attacker is currently on loan at Getafe after falling out of favour at Old Trafford, with the player having previously been suspended following an arrest for charges against him, which have since been dropped. 
Greenwood is now seemingly the subject of interest from Atletico Madrid as he seems likely to leave Man United permanently and Toto Vigaches state that the two clubs met in the last few days to hold initial discussions over this deal. Greenwood's fine form at Getafe this season perhaps shows he could have it in him to revive his career at a big club again soon, with Atletico perhaps a good destination for him to rebuild his career. It seems difficult for United to allow him back to the club, so it may be that the 22-year-old would do well to continue in Spanish football for the foreseeable future. Greenwood broke through at a young age at United and looked like someone with a big future in the game, though it now seems unlikely he will get a chance to play for the club again after the nature of the allegations against him in 2021. Man United are not, however, in talks with Barcelona at the moment, according to what Fabrizio Romano wrote in his daily briefing column, he said, Despite a meeting in recent days between Manchester United's directors and Barcelona director Deco, we can say that Barcelona are not working on a deal to sign Mason Greenwood. There have been many rumors in Spain about that as Greenwood has been doing very well on loan at Getafe, and I can confirm that Manchester United are ready to let Greenwood leave. Greenwood can leave if Man United receive a good proposal, but for now, Barcelona have different ideas and different priorities, so they are not working on the Greenwood deal. United will look for other solutions because they want to find a buyer for a Greenwood. Man United receive boost in their pursuit to sign 22-year-old Premier League ace. Manchester United have been handed a boost in their plans to sign Everton midfielder Amado Onana. According to a report from the Spanish publication Sport, Barcelona have withdrawn their interest in the Belgian midfielder, which has given Man United the boost to go ahead and complete the signing of the 22-year-old midfielder. Following the revelation that Everton must sell in order to balance the books, Onana is becoming one of the most sought-after assets ahead of the summer transfer window. Teams like Manchester United, Arsenal and Barcelona have been strongly linked to the Everton player. As per the report, Everton would not negotiate a deal with Barcelona for less than £52 million, while Barca are prepared to spend £39 million to get Onana. The Spanish giants have withdrawn from the competition because they are unable to fulfill that asking price owing to some debts. Man United are now in a prime position to sign Onana because, according to the sport report, they are able to pay the necessary asking price for the 6 feet and 3 inches midfield player. Onana would provide the Man United midfield with more physicality and defensive sturdiness. He has shown to be an effective player in the Premier League in comparison to players like Christian Eriksen, Casimiro and Sofiane Mrabat, all of whom are probably going to depart the team in the summer, he could prove to be an improvement. The 22-year-old Belgian international will probably become better with coaching and experience. Playing with better players is going to enhance his game further and help him reach the next level. Man United have good relationship with agents of star who could seal summer transfer, says expert. Manchester United have a good relationship with the agents of Borussia Dortmund forward Daniel Malen, who could be on the move in this summer's transfer window. That's according to transfer news expert Fabrizio Romano, as he spoke exclusively to Cout Offside for the latest edition of his daily briefing column, with the journalist explaining the latest on Malen's situation ahead of the summer. It seems the Netherlands international could be a player on the move this summer, but there is nothing concrete happening with Man United at the moment, even if the club do have a good relationship with his representatives. This could be promising for the Red Devils, as it perhaps lays decent foundations for them to build on if they decide to step up their interest in Malen in the summer. The 25-year-old is having a decent season for Dortmund and could be an exciting addition to give United more options in attack, so it will be interesting to see how this develops in the weeks and months ahead. Romano said the following, 
United have also been linked again with Daniel Malin after some interest back in January. I'm told that Malin has chances to leave Borussia Dortmund in the summer, but there is nothing in terms of talks right now with any club. Man United have a good relationship with his agents, but at the moment, there are no concrete talks taking place, so let's see if that changes as we get closer to the summer. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.